Assalamu alaikum. Today's topic is health and its determinants. I am Dr. Sabir Alia Dakar, demonstrator in the Department of Community Medicine, GMC Srinagar. Before we go into our presentation, let's have a look at the video. Health and its determinants. Health is multifactorial. The factors which influence health lie both within the individual and externally within the society in which he or she lives. These factors interact and these interactions may be health promoting or deleterious. Determinants of health are internally and externally. Internally, as we can see in the picture, constitutes of the age sex and the constitutional factors of the human beings. It is affected by the individual's lifestyle factors, which externally is affected by social and community networks and the general socio-economic, cultural and environmental conditions like agriculture and food production, education, work environment, living and working condition, unemployment, water and sanitation, healthcare services and housing. Biological determinants. The internal factors which play a role in the biological determinants. The physical and the mental traits of every human are determined by their genes. A number of diseases are now known to be of genetic origin. Health in such cases can be stated based upon the absence from such genetic constitutions, which corresponds to characters that take the form of a serious defect or derangement. Behavioral and sociocultural determinants. Lifestyles can be defined as the way people live, which reflect to a whole range of social values, attitudes, and activities. It is composed of cultural and behavioral patterns and a lifelong personal habits which have been developed through processes and socialization. Health requires the promotion of healthy lifestyles. It is also seen that not all lifestyle factors are harmful. Actually, some promote health. Lifestyles can make a difference. They can lead to malnutrition, population explosion, mental health problems, cancer, diabetes mellitus, cardiovascular diseases, AIDS and STDs, and environmental pollution. 
socio-economic condition. Majority of world's people health status is determined primarily by their level of socio-economic development, be it per capita GNP, education, nutrition, employment, housing, or the political system of the country. The major importance one are economic status, education, occupation, or the political system. Economy and literacy, they determine the quality of life. They can be employment, housing, or nutrition. It's seen that productive work promotes health, which finally determines the health status of a person. Environment. Hippocrates first related disease to environment. Environment can be further classified into internal and external. The internal environment consists of each and every component of our body, be it every tissue, organ, and the organ system. It consists of the harmonious functioning within the system. The external environment consists of those things to which a man is exposed after birth. The environment component consists of physical, biological and psychological factors. And these are not watertight compartments. They are so well linked with one another that it is realistic and fruitful to view the human environment in toto. Health Services the purpose of health services is to improve the health status of population. Example, immunization of children can influence the incidence and prevalence of particular disease. The provision of safe water can prevent morbidity and mortality of waterborne diseases. To be effective, the health services must reach the social periphery, should be equally distributed, should be accessible, and at a cost the country and the community can afford. All this comes under the definition of primary health care. Aging of the population Major concern of rapid population aging is the increased prevalence of chronic disease and disabilities. Although elderly in many countries enjoy better health than others, both being condition that tends to accompany the aging process and deserve special attention. Gender Global Commission on Women's Health, established in 1993, drew up an agenda for action on women's health. It covers nutrition, reproduction, health, and health consequences of violence, aging, lifestyle, all these conditions, as well as the occupational environment. Other factors which determine the health are food and agriculture, education, industry, social welfare, rural development, economic and social policies like the employment opportunities, increased wages, prepaid medical programs, family support systems. WHO framework for social determinants are defined by the structural determinants of health inequities or the intermediary determinants of health. The structural determinants like the socio-economic and political are governance and microeconomic policies or social policies like the labor market, housing or land, public policies like education, health and social protection, cultural and societal value. All these influence the socio-economic position, social class, gender, ethnicity or the racism, which further influence the education, occupation and income. These further affect the intermediary determinants of health, that is material circumstances like living condition, working condition, food availability, etc. The behavior and biological factors along with the psychosocial factors are also influenced. The link between the structural in and intermediary determinants are the social cohesion and the social capital. All these affect the health system and leave an impact on equity in health and well-being. To summarize, it can be said that determinants of health are answered by these three questions. Who are they? That is the internal factors or the biological determinants by age, sex or the internal constituents of the body. Where they live, that is the external environment and what they do, the behavioral and the socio-cultural factors. All these determine the determinants of the health. All these are affected by money, power and resources which is distributed at local, national and international level. 
All these factors lead to health inequities around the world. I hope the concept of determinants of health has become more clear to you with this presentation. Thank you.